Me. <laughs> the blood's coming off this hole. was still attached to the taser. Like I said, this person wants to fight after his or her five <coughs> seconds yes, is over does. with, right? The taser, the cartridge is still here. If you're going to come up here and rush around with this guy and these wires touch you, right, you're not going to feel the same incapacitating effect that they feel. It is going to be rather uncomfortable, but you can take the wires off. And I can guarantee you probably do it very quickly. You got some damage to your shirt, but That's don't worry okay. about it. You That's signed okay. the waiver. <laughs> 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 oh boy, am I glad I didn't wear the other shirt. I was just sorry if you get the camera going. Just get this. <laughs> don't want to ruin your sweater. <laughs> Tim, are you ready? Taser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> taser, taser, taser. Oh! 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 oh. oh. How yeah. you doing, Jim? That's what's getting to your cocky. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess what? He tased you, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, you want that to stop as fast as quick. As fast as you want. Yeah, I wouldn't do another five seconds. I only gave you five. I know, that's funny. <laughs> that's sort of like going up in the space room up in Vegas, that thing that shoots you up in the air. Get me off this thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
That <laughs> <laughs> did not look like a pumpkin. <laughs> Chalk out like, well, those stupid man. <laughs> no. You sure that wasn't like eight seconds? <laughs> yeah. Now, the, uh, oh, when you pull the trigger on the taser, it's designed as long as you. Most of the time, everybody's just fine. They, uh, they kind of shake the cobwebs out for a second or two and they're just fine. I have had some people come through training. They end up in this position, the spotter's laying down, and I can kind of tell something was not right, okay? And I'm, to save embarrassment in front of the class, I'm asking this person, this was uh, police academy stuff, are you okay? And they kind of whispered to me that it feels like the room is, the walls are moving, right? Mm -hmm. That, or fe that feeling uh, effect on her lasted for over an hour. Ooh, wow. Okay, so it can kind of miscombobulate you a little bit, but most of the time you shut the thing off and it's over with. And then they kind of, why did I make them do that to me? <laughs> right? And then they actually are apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry for making you do that to me. Ted, don't do that again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like icing the kicker, uh, so we're just going to play around a little bit while he's thinking about getting changed. You can do a drive stun to people, so rather than the full blown probes on this person, we can do a drive stun with a VE on the end. Right? I can keep the cartridge on and I can do a drive stun, I can take the cartridge off. And do it. A drive stun is this, right? I'm holding the taser against somebody as they're feeling electricity go across their body, okay? It doesn't incapacitate you at all, right? You can pull away from that. It's, it's really painful, but it's, you know, if I'm holding onto a steering wheel and I won't let go, I can put my taser on you, turn the electricity on, and I can guarantee you're going to want to let go because you want to get away from the pain, okay? People who are getting tased, they're incapacitated, they can't get away from the pain, so that's why it's safer, injury-wise, to just throw the probes in. Now I can drive some with the thing off, or put the cartridge on. The cartridge has metal contact points on the corners, on both sides. If I keep the cartridge on, and touch it against someone's body, and I can get these metal contact points on both corners to touch the body, it's, and, the, and the probes are out, I can do a drive stun that way. It's actually a lot more effective, right? I can put the probes right here. The probes have to be at least four inches apart to work, right? But if I get the probes too close together and I put a couple of probes right in the shoulder, I leave the cartridge on and I come down here and I touch them down here. Now I've got a more than a four inch gap, four inch distance, and then I'll get that locked up, hmm. right? But if I just, you know, for the RNC, <coughs> if people were gonna lock arms, we were just going to walk up and tase their arms and make them unlock each other and hold them off for, for the day. 
And it's just the pain is only there for that brief time. The pain is there as long as that arc of electricity is touching your skin. Could you try my leg once? <laughs> she already got tased. So how about this? Well, I'll only hold it there as long as you hold your arm there. How about that? Okay. Okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> now you notice know you pulled away right away, right? <laughs> Time, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you still move your legs? Yeah. See, uh, both of these probes are right over his spinal cord. Right? No problem whatsoever. He can still walk. He can still feed himself tomorrow. In the wintertime, these guys are wearing these great big heavy puffy jackets. Uh-huh. Put the probes in the legs because those big heavy puffy jackets soak up a lot of electricity and it doesn't affect them. So go after the legs like we did here for Dina and then she felt it where? In my tongue. In my tongue. <laughs> did you not feel this? Here, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but this is good. good. <laughs> 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 that hurt my spine. People get religious quick, don't they? They find that when they go to jail, too. You know, Nate, this is really hurting me more than it's hurting you. Are you ready? Smile. Yeah. Taser, taser, taser. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Another person following her. Okay, I'm glad you did it. What? Two seconds now! Oh! 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 Oh!